In this video we will be talking about the X-Core Irrigation Timer. What we'll be covering about the X-Core Irrigation Timer is how to Set the time and date. Set start times. Program run times. Designate days to water. And how to do a manual start. The components of the irrigation timer. The left and right arrow buttons can be used to navigate through each of the functions. The plus and minus button can be used to increase or decrease the flashing units. The round PRG button can be used to switch between programs A, B, or C. Main display screen. Dial to switch between functions. Setting time and date. To set the date and time turn the dial to the date and time position. The year will flash on the screen. Set the year by using the plus or minus buttons. Once the year is set, use the right arrow button to navigate to the month. A calendar icon will appear. Set the month by using the plus or minus buttons. Once the month is set, use the right arrow button to navigate to the day. Another calendar icon will appear. Set the day by using the plus or minus buttons. Once the date is set, use the right arrow button to navigate to the time. Use the plus or minus button to set the MPM function. Use the right arrow button to navigate to the hour. Once the hour is set use the right arrow to navigate to the minutes. Once the minutes is set use the right arrow to navigate back to the year. The time and date are now set. Setting start times. To set start times turn the dial to the start times position. The display will show the first start timing program A. We'll use the plus or minus button and put the first start time to 5 a.m. Since we want to water multiple times a day, we need to use the right arrow to advance the second possible start for program A. Use the plus button and proceed forward to 8 a.m., which will be the second complete cycle for the program. We also want a third start time, so we'll use the right arrow to go to start time 3, and we'll go backwards this time from midnight backwards down to 3 p.m. Last the number 4 start which is the last and final start. For the program we'll use the minus button as well and go backwards day to about 9 o'clock. To get rid of a start, the off position is located after 12 a.m., so any one of the starts you can get rid of by proceeding just past 12 a.m., and it will show the off position. The start times are now set. Setting run times. To set run times turn the dial to the run times position. Here is where we designate the length of time that each station within the program will run for. Let's program 4 minutes on each of the two stations. You do this by pressing the plus or minus button to 4 minutes. Then advance with the right arrow to station 2 and repeat the process put in 4 minutes on 4 stations. We'll leave the rest of the station set to zero. You will notice that at the end of the station count. The controller will give you the total runtime for the entire program. This function is known as the total runtime calculator. Setting days to water. To set days to water turn the dial to the days to water position. Now let's program it to water every day except Thursday which is our mowing day, to activate a day press the plus button. To cancel a day, press the minus button. We'll press plus from Monday Tuesday, Wednesday and for Thursday, we'll use the minus to signify non-water. Then we'll use plus on Friday plus on Saturday and plus on Sunday. The flashing drop will go back to the beginning of the week. 
and you'll see that we only have a circle and a line through on Thursday, which means it's a non-water day. Days to water with even and odd. Setting the days to water would include the odd or even function. The odd days of course would be the first, the third, the fifth and the seventh of the month, so on, and your even days would be the second, fourth and the sixth and the eighth. Keep in mind on the odd or even selection. It's based on a 30-day month if the month has 31 days watering will not occur on the 31st day. You can access the odd or even mode from the specific days of the week screen, take the cursor all the way to Sunday, and press the right arrow again. Odd will appear if you press the minus button even will appear. Whichever you leave flashing on the screen will be the one that takes effect. Days to water with intervals. We'll see the seven days a week across the bottom. To access the interval mode, you go all the way to Sunday. Once you are there you press the plus button to get to odd. You then press the right arrow button. You'll notice a large number up here the top of the screen. That's the interval number. That number represents the number of days between watering. We are going to set it for every three days we will water. We'll want to have the controller water every four days, but never on a Thursday. We do this by moving down to the day that we want to cancel and press the minus button to put a crossed out raindrop on top of Thursday. Switching to program B. To switch to program B you can be in start times, run times, or days to water. But we will turn the dial to start times. Press the program button to go to program B. Then repeat any steps if needed or wanted. Manual start. To do a manual start turn the dial to the manual position. It will show the first zone to be watered. Set the time of how long you will like it to be watered. Then turn the dial to the run position. The flashing sprinkler on the display screen indicates that the zone displayed is turned on. For more videos on other models of irrigation timers, check the description below.